Hey guys, it's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with this makeup look. I love the way it turned out. I think it's a great look now for the fall time. I love the burgundy with the burgundy lips. I'm living for it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's definitely very dramatic, so if you want to tone it down, please feel free to do so. You do not have to do this as dramatic as I have it. You can do whatever you please, but you know me, I like the drama. I definitely love makeup artistry and I like to go all out with my makeup. I'm also very excited because in this video I am going to be using the Morphe 3502 palette, which is Morphe's newest baby, their newest. This is kind of like the older sister to the 350 palette, the older brother, if you will. Um, yeah, so I show you guys this palette, I compare it to the original 350 and I give you my thoughts and my opinions and you're going to see it in action. So, keeping this intro short and sweet, after I've been talking for a minute, um, but yes, if you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. My wine was full of eyeshadow. I probably inhaled half an eyeshadow. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I actually want to start off by showing you guys both palettes, the Morphe 35O, which is the original palette, and the Morphe 3502. By the way, I broke a nail. Don't judge me. I'm getting it fixed on Wednesday by actually the day that this video goes up. But anyways, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys both palettes because, you know, there's tons of questions. Why should I get this one or the other one? So let's do it. Okay, so um, this is a Morphe 35O palette. This is the original palette. As you can see, it's a completely different packaging. The logo is different. Everything is different except the actual cover. We still get the same kind of plastic cover, if you will. Okay, so once you open up the palette, this is what the palette looks like on the inside. A very gorgeous, warm toned palette. So you can see it has a bunch of different shades. This is probably one of my most used palettes. I've used this palette a bunch of times. I take it with me pretty much anywhere. Whenever I have like a makeup appointment or whenever I travel, this is a palette that I usually take because you have everything in here except a black shade. Um, but other than that, you have really great transition shades. You have really warm tones. In this area over here, you actually have some cooler Browns, which it wasn't until this palette came out that you can truly see how much warmer the 3502 palette is compared to this one. So yeah, this is a 350, the original. And then let's take a look at the 3502 palette. So as you can see, we have a very different logo in the front. It's a lot more sleek. It's a lot more, I think, appealing to more people. I personally prefer this over this. The red was nice, but I don't know, there's something about simplicity in makeup packaging, like simple, that just calls my attention because it looks nice and clean. So let's open this puppy up. Another thing that they changed from this palette is that we actually get a slit in here with the names. But it's pretty nice. I actually do like the fact that we have the names. And it makes the palette a lot more personal when you can actually put a name to a shadow. So I really like that. Okay. So then this is what this one looks like on the inside. As you can see, it's a lot, a lot more warm. Warm? It's a lot warmer than the 35-0 original palette. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's a lot more warmer. We have some really cool shades over here that are very different and um, Yeah, and this palette actually has a black which the original one lacks so that is interesting So now that I have them up here You can kind of see that the original palette has a lot more lighter shades up here Whereas the newer version the 3502 palette does not have any we have this shade right here But this is actually like a golden kind of neutral very champagne -y shade which in the camera is coming off a little bit more pale than what it truly is but yeah, um, I do see some similarities in colors and shades, but nothing too crazy. They are very different. I mean, you might look at them like this and you're like, hmm, they are a little bit alike. But when you really look at the palette and kind of dissect it, um, you can clearly see that they are very different palettes in my opinion. But yeah, I just wanted to put both palettes side by side so you can see some differences, some upgrades and all that good stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with a makeup look. <laughs> 
So I went ahead and I primed my eyelids and I also zoomed you guys in so you can see what I'm doing a lot closer, you know, up close and personal. So for today's look, I have in mind a super dramatic kind of burgundy smoky eye with some pop of like a glitter champagne shade. So um, let's dig in. Let's start off by taking this shade right here and this shade is actually called Tan. It's a beautiful transition shade. So I'm going to grab that using a Ofra Professional Makeup Number 21 brush. I have been loving their brushes recently. The Ofra brushes are awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and begin to apply this to my crease. And that's a lot of pigment. That is a lot of pigment. Okay, so I am going to apply this color in my crease from inner corner to outer corner and I'm really going to blend the color up because I want this smoky eye to be very blown out and dramatic. So I'm going to take this color a little bit higher than I usually do. I'm going to go in with the shade Terracotta, which is this one right here. It's a little bit darker than the first shade we applied. I'm going to be using a lot of the darker browns because like I said I want a really nice burgundy eye look so I'm going to take it with that same Ofra brush and I'm just going to place this just a little bit higher honestly I feel like this palette is performing so much better than the 35O like the original one. Whenever I work with the original one, I feel like I have to pack on a little bit more eyeshadow than normal. And this one is just gliding on. And it's so incredibly pigmented. So I'm going to go into this color right here. And this is called Chestnut. It's a lot warmer, a lot richer. It does have some red undertones, some reddish purple undertones that I am very excited for. I'm going to change my brush. I'm going to use it with a Sigma E25. I'm going to grab some of that and I'm going to again just place it in the crease. What is that noise? I'm taking it again from inner corner to outer corner and blending upwards. I'm going to go back in with the previous brush and blend out those edges. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a mixture of these two shades, and these are called Rich and Brave. So I'm going to take a mixture of both of those two shades using a Luxie 229. I'm going to take a mixture of both, and I'm going to begin to put this in the outer corner. So I'm going to focus this in the outer corner, and then I'm going to bring it in towards that inner corner. And kind of focus that in the inner corner as well because we are about to do like a little bit of a cut crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe off any fallout that we have. It's a very dramatic eye. It's very dramatic. I'm feeling the drama today. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. So I am going to clean up the lid space and where I want my shimmer to be later on. So feel free to either follow your natural crease or you can take it a little bit higher, whatever you want to do. I'm going to take it just a little bit higher than usual because I want you to be able to see the glitter when I am looking. I'm not going to take it all the way back. I'm going to end it right about there. Let's go in with my finger and just soften up that concealer edge so that it's not too prominent. See how it just kind of blended it in? I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of the color Stone, which looks like this shade. It's a nice, kind of more cooler tone brown. I'm going to take it with a Sigma E25. And again, I'm just going to pack this right in the center just so that everything kind of blends in. I'm gonna take a MAC 242 flat definer brush and I'm gonna take it into the color Pure, which is this really pretty kind of champagne shimmery shade. I'm actually going to apply it dry first just so that I can see how the eyeshadow performs on its own. And then if anything, we can always go in and wet the brush. So let's 
Okay, that's that's actually pretty good for Wow, that's actually I'm actually really impressed. That's very pretty. Okay, so I am going to wet the brush just because I feel like that's actually what I'm going for, a more wet look, more intense look. So I'm going to wet the brush and reapply. So I'm going to go in with a tapered Sigma brush. This is a Sigma E45 and I'm going to take this color right here which is called Brunette. It's a really dark brown shade. I'm going to take that with this brush. And I am going to apply this up in the crease, right where the shimmer shade and the other shadows meet, just to kind of add more definition. So I'm kind of tilting my head back like this, and I'm going to place that in that area right there. I'm gonna go in with the black shade, which is called Wiz. I really want to see how this shade performs. I'm going to go in with that same E45 brush and take that black shade and put this in the outer corner. Okay, that's actually very pigmented. I'm going to go in with the brush that we applied Rich and Brave with and blend out the edge. I'm going to take a flat definer brush with that same black eyeshadow and I'm going to smudge this in my upper lash line. You can definitely stop here. This is a gorgeous look. But I want to add just a little bit something extra. So I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Moon Dust Liquid. And this is in the shade Chemtrail. This is the Moon Dust, yeah, Moon Dust Liquid. I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm just going to apply this to the inner corner. Okay. Like so. I went ahead and I finished my face. My skin today looks so dry. I don't even want to get too close to the camera because of how dry it looks. It's kind of cold here in Miami and my skin is just it's just not feeling it. So yeah, let's go ahead and finish the eyes. I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is a Wet n Wild pencil brush. It doesn't really have a number. Okay, so I'm going to take Chestnut, which is this one right here, and Terracotta. I'm going to mix those two together and I'm going to put that in the lower lash line. into brave and into rich one more time and again I'm going to put that in the lower lashes and I'm going to go into brunette which is a dark brown shade right here I'm going to take that and I'm going to tightly apply that really close to my lash line I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of black so I'm going to take a mixture of brunette and whiz I'm gonna go ahead and take a black eyeliner and wine, wine, line my waterline. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to my lower lashes. I'm gonna really quickly do my lips because you know that's the only thing that I'm missing to do. So I'm taking the Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick in Video Vixen, and I'm going to apply that. While that lipstick is kind of setting, I'm going to go in with some Fix Plus. And then right on top, I'm going in with the YSL lipstick. This is the Rouge Purgatoire in number 54. They actually sent me these and I almost, almost freaked out. Like these, the fact that I get packaging from YSL, it just, every single time, every single time I get a package from them in the mail, I flip my shit. I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Okay, so this is the finished look. We are done. My eyes keep watering pretty bad, so if you see some like missing eyeshadow, it's because my eyes, they're just, after the Halloween tutorial I filmed the other night, 
My eyes are just very sensitive these days, but yeah, anyway, so I absolutely love the way the look turned out. I think it's a great look now for fall. Um, here in Florida, it's actually cold right now, so it actually feels like fall. <laughs> but anyways, my overall thoughts on the palette, I think is great for the price. I think this is like their original 20, 35 eyeshadow palettes. It's $22, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it's great. I do have to say that I do prefer, if I can open it, um, I do have to say that I do prefer this palette over the original palette. I do like this one better. I don't know if they changed the formula of the eyeshadows, which I think they did. I think I saw Jacqueline say that she actually helped Linda from Morphe formulate this palette, like put it together and work on formulas. I think that's what I heard. Could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. So you can definitely tell that they have been improving their eyeshadows, improving their quality because this palette is amazing. It reminds me a lot of the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Like some of the matte shades perform almost identical to the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So that's great because that palette is awesome. So I do prefer this one better. If I were to, if I were to pick, if I had to pick between one or the other, I think I would go for this one. It's a lot warmer. I'm telling you the quality is a lot better, at least my palette is a lot better and I'm not affiliated with Morphe in any shape, weight or form, so this is my honest opinion. Um, I do love this palette, I truly do. It's $22 for 35 eyeshadows and the quality of this is incredible. Like you guys saw, the eyeshadows went on super pigmented, super blendable. I love them. Not that the 35 all palette, the original, is not like that, but it's definitely a lesser quality. Like a lot of the other eyeshadows in the 35 all palette are a lot more dry. Whereas in this palette, they are more creamy, they are more smooth, they are definitely easier to work with. I don't know, I really liked it. Like I really, really, really liked it. And like I said, it reminds me a lot of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And this one is $22, and that one is $38. So you're definitely getting a lot for your buck with this palette. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope that was clear and I know that there's a million tutorials coming out with this particular palette, but I hope you enjoyed this one. As always, please, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. It definitely does help me a lot when you guys give the video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. Hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload, and that's it. So thank you for watching, I love you, and I'll see you soon with another video. <laughs> Bye guys.